hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's victor once again bringing you fully funded opportunities for masters and phd positions all over the world so today we'll be looking at a couple of masters and phd scholarships in the uk specifically we're looking at the deep mind scholarships the deep mind scholarships so deep mind is just like a charity on or an organization giving out scholarships to both domestic and international students in different universities across the UK. So this is the official website of DeepMind. So this is deepmind.com slash scholarships. And I will show you the numerous opportunities, funded opportunities sponsored at different universities in the UK. Interestingly, they have other funded opportunities, not only in the UK, but in several other countries in Europe, even in Sub-Saharan Africa, in the Middle East, in North America, and in South America. So all these are positions sponsored or courses sponsored by the Deep Mind Scholarship. So it's actually a big organization sponsoring both international and domestic students. So you can see scholarships at Bulgaria, France, Greece, Poland. You can see the United Kingdom, Romania. And when you go to Africa, you can see some South African universities and some universities in Uganda. So you can check this on your own, but we'll be concentrating on the opportunities in the UK. And the reason is just because I'm a little bit more familiar with the application cycle in the UK. And I know a number of programs are already accepting students for this scholarship. But if you're interested, of course, in this scholarship in other continents or in other countries, please do well to also check for their availability, do well to check for the applications requirements. So the scope of this video is actually for the opportunities here in the UK. So these are the participating universities where the scholarship is sponsoring different kinds of courses. So we'll be looking at them one after the other briefly and do your own research, do your own background reading, visit this website yourself. The link to this website will be left in the description box of this video as usual. So let's click on the University of Birmingham. Let's see what this scholarship covers at the University of Birmingham in the UK. So this is the Birmingham page. So it covers both um, home students, EU students and international students. The deadline is on the 6th of June, or on the 30th of June, sorry, 2022. But do well to apply way ahead of this deadline because for a number of these scholarships, you have to apply first to one of the eligible courses and then apply for the scholarship separately for most of the time. However, I read clearly the application procedure in different universities as they may differ in the first place. So at Birmingham, this Deep Mind Scholarship will sponsor two UK students and one international student. And it covers full tuition. You have a living stipend of over £15,000. You have £2,000 for international conferences. You have £1,500 to buy equipment and other things such as laptops and things like that. So to be eligible, you have to be either female or male, but from one of the minority categories, either a Black African a black Caribbean or other black ethnicities. And to be eligible for this course, you have to be applying for, be eligible for this scholarship, you have to be applying for MSc in artificial intelligence and machine learning. So you have to apply for this course. And after applying for this course, you move here, you come to this page and apply separately for this scholarship. So you need to have a conditional or unconditional offer for this course, and then you move to this scholarship. So to apply for this course, you just go straight here, Google the, or use the search bar, the university website, MSc Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. So this is it here. Then you check for the 
application requirements, entry requirements, and see if you qualify. You can also choose your country here and see what qualification is required for someone from your country. So it is said here, for instance, if I'm coming from Nigeria, I need to have this GPA 3 over 4 or 3.5 over 5 after a four-year degree program at the Nigerian University. could also um, deal with this part when it comes to the English requirements as well and see if you can get an English requirement exemption if you do not have any of these English tests mentioned here. So that, this is the University of Birmingham. Remember, there are lots of other universities and lots of other courses. So the next is Cambridge, Masters, and also PhD. So DeepMind sponsors Masters and PhDs at Cambridge as well. However, the application cycle for Cambridge for most of their courses are already closed. So if you're thinking of getting to Cambridge this coming September, it might be late already. But I want to keep it in your diary if you're interested in this scholarship at Cambridge. So you might want to click on it and look at the requirements as well, even though it is closed. You might want to take a look at the requirements as well. And these are the courses sponsored. Advanced Computer Science, Machine Learning, Scientific Computing, Computer Science, and the rest. But as I said, it's very likely to be the case that this scholarship is closed or the admission circle is closed at Cambridge already. So let's concentrate on those that are still open at least. Let's go to Imperial College. Imperial College is still open for admissions and for this scholarship. So if you intend to study at Imperial, it covers full tuition for both, um, I think, international students and home students. So two home students, two UK students will be covered and one international student. Full tuition, over 17, close to 18,000 um, pounds, 1,500 for lab equipment, 2,000 for attendance of conferences and relocation allowance as well. The scholarship at Imperial is quite, um, the application window is quite close, it's at the, that the, the deadline is quite at hand. It's at the 13th of May. 2022, less than a month away. So if you're interested in this, you might want to start working immediately. I remember you have to have an offer first before you even consider for the scholarship. So read through and see exactly how the nomination process would, um, will pan out. But if you're interested in this, start working as soon as possible. Do not wait till May before you start rushing to apply. Also at Imperial, there's also a PhD. You can also check that out if you're interested. And I think it's still open. So this deep mind is still present at Oxford for both masters and PhD. But just like in Cambridge, the application window is likely closed already because Cambridge and Oxford, they have this early application cycle. It's difficult to get in this September if you've not already applied, like probably even last year or very early this year. So what is an annual scholarship? That's the good thing. If you don't make it this cycle, you can try in the next cycle. So what about Queen Mary University of London? Queen Mary is actually still open. I've actually talked about the scholarship at Queen Mary in a previous video on scholarships in the UK. So it's open and then um, it covers tuition um, both for home or international students. So for home students, it's um, 11,000. For international students, it's 27,000. Covers living stipend, travel allowance, equipment allowance, and the deadline is 13th of July. So how do you intend to apply the step-by-step -step procedures also here? And the courses that will be sponsored as well is also written here. Things about artificial intelligence, machine learning, computer science. You can see a common theme in these courses sponsored in different universities. So probably it might just be the case that DeepMind specializes in computing, um, artificial intelligence and things like that. So as usual, you have to have a place in this university. You have to put in an application for one of the eligible courses. And then you move here to apply for the scholarship. So first apply for one of the eligible courses. I think the courses are listed here. You can see the list of courses, the artificial intelligence, computer science, 
computer games and the rest of them, visual data analytics and the rest. So try to get an offer from here and then move here to apply for the scholarship. I think there's a special form provided by the university. Yes, this is a special form provided by the university for you to apply for the scholarship. You might have to write a small essay on why are you applying for this course? Um, what is your background? What do you intend to do with the skills you would learn from this course? And what is your future plan? So that's um, um, Queen Mary University of London. And there's also a PhD there. I think the PhD is already closed. We can confirm that. And as usual, it's a yearly scholarship. So if you don't make it this year, you can probably just make it next year. Yeah, the deadline for the PhD was um, 11th of April. It's closed for now, but not to worry. You can always catch up next year. Pen it down in your diary. So the next university is University College London. So this is a master's for neuroscience. And I think I checked this previously and it's mostly for home students. There are students based in the UK and even the second one also masters those in science, technology and society also mostly for those in the UK as well as um, computer science, I think. Just to check to make sure whether it's still open or not. So it might also be have, um, it also be closed for now and also for home students. So you see different universities might have different things they're sponsoring. Like Birmingham, we checked and we saw it was for both home and international students and that's still open. As Imperial, both home and international students. For Queen Mary, both home and international students. But for UCL, mostly home students. Let's go to um, Edinburgh and see whether it's still open. So Edinburgh has it for both masters and PhD. So let's check whether it's still open. So this is um So this is the page at Edinburgh. And for now it is closed. It is closed at Edinburgh for now. It's closed on the 31st of March. So I remember I mentioned this in the previous video. So for those who watched the previous videos, you probably were aware when it opened. And that is why you have to keep an eye on this channel to know when these things open. So for now, the ones we know that are still open is Birmingham, Imperial College, which will be closing soon. So you have to hurry and Queen Mary as well for the masters. UCL is also still open, but mostly for home students, that's um, UK students. And that's it for now, guys. I hope this was useful, especially for those interested in computing artificial intelligence. This deep mind scholarship might just be the breakthrough you've been looking for. And as we said, it's also present in other countries in Europe, as you can see, and even countries outside Europe, you can see South African universities also field courses sponsored by DeepMind. Um, Ugandan universities, you can see universities in the Middle East in Turkey, universities in North America, McGill, for instance, or the New York University, University of California. And the other universities here in Brazil and Colombia also enjoy sponsorships from deep mind so there are lots of hidden opportunities guys and my duty is to bring them to your notice as usual guys we cannot wait to celebrate you get to work as soon as you can start putting your documents together and put forward a competitive application there are lots and hundreds of other materials here that could help your application so look around this channel engage with the materials already provided in them i just contain that tip that opportunity you're looking for so until next time guys take care of yourself get to work and bye bye for now